Minor injuries and property damage reported at the Sununu Youth Services Center this weekend as they were August 16th. State and local police and EMS called to help de-escalate six incidents overall. DHHS saying that while the resident population at the center includes individuals detained for serious and violent offenses and the incidents that occurred over the weekend are common in justice settings, and although we are meeting federal guidelines, current staffing levels require additional supports to ensure adequate care. A spokesperson says they completed facility upgrades and enhanced safety protocols like shift visits by state police. And they say by collaborating with administrators, mental health professionals, and youth counselors, the temporary increased support of state police will help ensure that the facility is able to respond to resident escalations quickly and keep residents and staff safe. This former Sununu Center resident left August 16th. Even in the past two months that I was there, the last two months, they headbutted staff, gave them concussions, slammed their heads against metal doors. She's concerned about low staffing and credits those individuals with helping her get into college where she lives now. I just think that the government should definitely pay a lot more attention to them and give them a lot more help because it's not all negative in there. Now, pay enhancements were extended last week for positions like the staff ones here. But there's an added challenge at the Sununu Center because it's slated to close in March and the legislature has yet to extend that or approve a new center. We're live in Manchester. Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.